Hey there, hats off to you. I don't have my hat on today, but I do have a lot of numbers for us. So let's get your things and we'll get started. You are working with numbers into the thousands, and I am so proud of you. So we're going to start not in the thousands, but we'll get there today. Let's take a look at the two numbers that I have, and do you see my alligator friends? Do you remember what these stand for? We're talking about numbers that are greater than or numbers that are less than, and we will get into some comparison today. And first, I want you to take a look at, um, let's say, this number and have you read this to your teacher. Nicely done, 264. I did hear some of you say 264. Let's just get rid of that, just 264. And then let's read this number. You got it, 316. Now, when we look at these numbers and we want to say, which one is greater, what column do you think is the most helpful for us to look into? Should we start in the ones, or the tens, or the hundreds? You got it. Let's look in the hundreds. And if I pull my tens and ones off here, and pull these tens and ones off here, I can see really easily that 200 is less than 300. So likewise, 264 is less than 316. Let's try another one. Alrighty, in our last number, it was easy to take a look at the hundreds and figure out which number was greater and which number was less than. But let's take a look at these numbers. Would you read the purple number out loud for me? Good job, 325. Now, read the red number aloud. You got it, 352. So the last time around, we found ourselves looking to the hundreds to see which number was greater than. Does that help us in this case? It doesn't, does it? So we have to move to the next value column, which is the tens column. Now, can we get a little help to figure out which number is greater than? Well, let's take a look at this also. We can build 52, and we can build 25 with our place value cards. I'm gonna set our 300 here because they're both in the 300s. So let's remove our ones, shall we? Oh my goodness. Now, is it easy to see which one of these is greater than the other? If you were an alligator looking for some lunch, you might like to eat that one. Let's put these back here. And remember that we're talking about numbers in the 300. So we can say 325 is less than 352. So every time we're trying to figure out which number is greater than another, we have to continue to look at the columns until we find a value column where they don't have the same number and we can make our comparison. In this case, we had to get ourselves to the tens column. All right, I have a little game I'd like to play with you. It's called Snap, and we'll use it to warm our brains up to get into the thousands. Okay, are you ready to play a game? Hedgie has agreed to help me out teaching it to you. Right, Hedgie? Yes! Hedgie's always up for a good game, and then I hope you'll play it at home. I call the game Snap because when we say Snap to each other, we turn cards over, and Hedgie and I are each going to build a number in the thousands. We are going to turn over a total... Well, let me ask you, how many columns are there if I build a number in the thousands? 
One, two, three, four. So we'll have four digits in our number, but we get to take a total of five cards because one of the cards we can discard. Now, Hedgy, this time around, let's each try to build the greatest number possible and see who succeeds. And um, you'll see how the game works as we go. Now, Hedgy's fingers are kind of small, so if you don't mind, I'm going to turn Hedgy's cards over for her. Okay, here we go. So we're both going to reach onto the pile and we're going to get our cards. And I'm going to say, snap! And then as quick as we can, we turn our cards over. Then we decide, do we want to place this card in one of the columns we're going for the greatest number or do we want to discard it? I'm going to discard mine. Hedgie's going for hers. Now, we each get ready. We take another card in our hand and we say, snap. Oh man, another four. Hedgie's liking the seven. She's going to put that in the hundreds column. Okay, let's get another one. Here we go. Snap. Oh, Hedgie gets a seven. I got a three. So you can see Hedgie's number is almost finished being built, but we both get to, to build our numbers. Okay, here's Hedgy in my left hand. Ready, snap. Oh, Hedgy wants to discard that one, and I'm gonna put mine in my hundreds column because I have to get greater than her seven in the thousands if I'm gonna have the greatest number. Not too many chances left. Hedgy's card in my left hand. Ready, snap. Oh, that goes there. Look what happened to Mrs. Dillon. Oh, Hedgy, congratulations. Let's read your number aloud. Will you read it with me? 7,755. Hedgy's got a pretty good number. Let's read mine. 2,634. If we compare the digits in the thousands, seven compared to two, it's pretty easy to see that seven thousand is greater than two thousand. So Hedgie wins that round. Let's just play one more round. I think you have the hang of it though. Let's see who's going to win this time. And I can just take all these cards and just put them in the bottom of the deck. Now I suppose you could split the deck in two if you and your teacher were going to play or you're going to play with a sister or a brother, but I don't mind just having my one deck there. All right, Hedgie, you're my left hand and I'll be my right hand. Here we go. Ready, set, snap. Ah, a seven again. Should she go for the thousands or the hundreds? She's going for the thousands. I'm discarding. Snap. Oh, look what happened. Now, we could end the game right now, couldn't we? But that wouldn't be as much fun. The point of playing games in math is not really to see who wins and loses. We all win when we play math games because we're all learning. So Hedgie and I are gonna keep going, both of us being good sports. Ready, snap. Hmm, Hedgie says, no thank you. Ready, snap. Oh, she's going this way. And I guess I gotta go there because I've already discarded. Ready, snap. Oh man. Can you see if Hedgie had been brave and waited it out? She could have had a nine in the thousands. Hedgie, I love that you're being such a good sport, but let's read your number aloud. 7,895, not bad, but Mrs. Dillon does have 8,112. So if we compare our thousands to our thousands, Mrs. Dillon has a greater amount than Hedgie. So I would win that round. Um, we're going to do one more, take one more look at comparing numbers. When we get working into the thousands and eventually the tens of thousands, our value columns are so important to keep straight. So I want you to keep working on these ideas as much as you can. We'll do the one more activity here and you'll work in your books today. But I want you to be looking for large numbers around town and practice reading them aloud because the more comfortable we get with those large numbers, the easier they are to work with during our math lesson. Alrighty, whoops, I dropped one. I'll be right back. <laughs> And there we go. I am going to build this number. 
and I'm going to build this number. Now, in comparing these numbers, what would you look at to determine which number is the greater number? I don't even have my alligator with me here, but we'll have to just figure it out anyway. If we look this direction, well, nine's bigger than five and eight is bigger than four, well, we've got this four is smaller, so this doesn't give us a good conclusion until we come this way. 3,489 is more than or greater than 945. Because of the value column, we've worked ourselves into the thousands. Now, what am I doing here? Another way to think about the greater than, less than symbol is to put two dots near the number that's the greatest and only one dot near the number that's less than or smaller. Then, oh, then connect the dots and we get our greater than or less than symbol. So 3,489 is greater than 945. All right, Hedgie and I wish you a great day and we'll see you here next time.